In this CMC Fundamentals video, we will be building several different types of mechanical advantage or MA systems using the CMC clutch by Harkin Industrial. The clutch will serve as both the fixed pulley and as a progress capture device in all the MA systems that we show in this video. The only pulleys that are going to generate any mechanical advantage in a system are the pulleys that move. The second rope system that would function as a second system in a twin tension rope system or as the belay line have been purposely left out of this video for clarity. A simple pulley system, or simple mechanical advantage, is defined as a system in which all the mechanical advantage pulleys are moving at the same speed as the load. To build an efficient, simple 3 to 1 mechanical advantage, also known as a Z-Rig, you'll need a carabiner, a press -a cord, and a pulley in addition to the clutch. You start building the system by rigging the rope through a properly anchored clutch. Next, you attach a press -a cord to the main line using a 3 rep press -a hitch and then dressing that hitch. Attach a carabiner and a pulley to the press -a cord and then lock that carabiner. Then you'll run the rope through the swivel pulley and fully close the side plate. Now if you're not using a swivel pulley, you need to rig the rope through the pulley and then attach it to the carabiner. Make sure the handle of the clutch is placed in the standby position. You can haul through the clutch with the handle in the stop position, but it adds unnecessary friction and makes for more work. You can now haul with the 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. To reset it, just loosen the prusik and pull the system forward using the carabiner as a handle. Don't reset the system by pulling forward on the prusik hitch itself. It's much more difficult and you're going to prematurely wear out the prusik. When hauling with a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage, you're actually moving 3 feet of rope to move the load 1 foot. In addition to the 3 to 1 mechanical advantage that you saw in the last segment, you're going to be adding a carabiner and a pulley to the becket on the clutch in order to create a change of direction. Make sure the carabiner is locked. We recommend using a swivel pulley when attaching to the becket to avoid any unnecessary torque or torsion on the becket. Rig the rope through the pulley and then make sure the side plate is fully closed. Now the rope can be pulled either away from the anchor or off to the side of the anchor system. Since the additional pulley that we added is fixed, there's no additional mechanical advantage and it actually adds friction and reduces the efficiency of the mechanical advantage. In addition to the simple 3 to 1 with a change of direction in the last segment, you'll be adding a carabiner and a pulley to the prusik on the main line to create a simple 5 to 1 mechanical advantage. In the simple 5 to 1, you'll be pulling 5 feet of rope to move the load 1 foot. Rig the rope through the pulley and then make sure the side plate is fully closed. You can use a double pulley in place of those two individual moving pulleys, but you're going to lose the ability to convert the system back quickly and easily to either a simple 3 to 1 or to a compound 9 to 1 mechanical advantage. A compound pulley system or compound MA is defined as a simple pulley system pulling another simple pulley system. In addition to the simple 5 to 1 in the last segment, you're going to be adding a press -a cord to the haul side of the original 3 to 1 that we built. Moving that second carabiner and pulley that was added to create the 5 to 1 to the new press -a. Make sure the carabiner is locked. When hauling with a 9 to 1, you're going to be pulling 9 feet of rope to move the load 1 foot. So one of the disadvantages of the 9 to 1 is it requires frequent resets due to the amount of rope being moved through that system. So the system is easily converted back to the simple 5 to 1 by reversing these steps. So the amount of mechanical advantage is determined by multiplying the individual mechanical advantage systems. In this case, 3 to 1 times 3 to 1 equals 9 to 1. A complex pulley system is defined as a system that is neither simple nor compound. They generally have at least one pulley moving towards the other moving pulley or pulleys. So you start by building the simple 3 to 1 that we did in the very first segment. Now you attach a press -a cord to the free end of the rope exiting the clutch and then using a 3 rep press -a hitch and dressing that hitch. Attach a carabiner and pulley to the press -a cord and lock the carabiner. Run the rope through the swivel pulley and fully close the side plate. The big advantage of a complex 5 to 1 is it requires less hardware to build. So in this case, the properly anchored clutch, two prusiks, two carabiners, and two pulleys. As a result of less pulleys in the system, it generally has less friction, hence it's more efficient. You're pulling away from the anchor with a complex 5 to 1, which may be an advantage. The disadvantage of the complex 5 to 1 system is that it requires more resets because the pulleys are moving towards each other. So you'll be pulling approximately four feet of rope to move the load one foot. There's many other mechanical advantage systems, but these are the ones that we find that are the most useful and practical.